Hi, to find a solution for heaps of JavaScript, the first thing we do this time is to write a function first then, and then do the explanation later. So, heap sort function taking an uh, input array. And the first thing we do, like always, is to check the length of the input array. Make sure it has at least two elements, or otherwise we return the input array. Okay, then let's declare a variable called array launch and makes it equal to the input array launch first. Then let's run a for loop. Start with i equals to my my my, uh, my dot floor at input array dot last divide by two minus one and make the for loop stop uh, at the root node position and deduct it deduct it self by one every time we run this block of code so. This uh, algorithm will get us the index value of the position position of the last parent node that have that has at least one child node. So in this case, it's going to be two. But if there isn't any child node for two, then it's going to be seven. So later we will do the explanation. So right now, just finish the function. All right. So um, in here, let's call a function called sort parent and child. So it going is going to sort three elements: the parent, the child. Okay. So and more three elements or two elements. So um, let's pass in the input array first. Then our uh, array launch and then uh, the index we are currently pointing at. So let's write our function. Function sort parent and child takes in the input array, takes in the array launch and takes in the parent index. So after the uh, function is declared, let's first calculate the left index. Uh, so the first child is going to be left child. So uh, left index is uh, equals to parent index times two plus one, and uh, the the right index is equals to this value uh, plus two. So uh, this is because if you notice the regular pattern, later I will explain how this value is derived. But we can understand the regular pattern just from this visualization. So, for example, uh, our position at uh, 0, 1, 2, 2, value 2. So the elements on its left, so there are two elements, are the same number of elements where you need to get over this to get to your chart element. So here, two elements here elements here, the child elements. So you just need to times your index here by two and plus one to get the index of the child element. Later I'll explain how this value is derived, but not right, right now just remember it's a regular pattern of the heap structure. Okay, so after this is determined, let's declare another variable and we call it max indexed. Yes, now it's going to be equals to parent index first. And uh, let's do a if statement and put in and check if left index is it inside of our limit. If yes, and uh, its value is bigger than the max value the pointed by our max index. If so, then update the max index with our uh, left index. So the parent index is right now the max index. So we will exchange the parent index uh, with uh, left index for the max index here. 
if uh, if left index points to a value that bigger than the value pointed by the max index. Okay, this is rather cringe, cringy, right? So we do the same for 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 our right index. Okay, passing the right index and check with the max index and uh, up to the max index with the right index here. So, so by the time we start this if statement, is either if that is either left index is the max index or the parent index index is the max index. So uh, just keep that in mind. After this if statement, our max index will be uh, will be the final final one. So by the end of it, let's check if max index is uh, still equals to the parent index. If so, then we stop. Uh, if if uh, no, then we do the swap. So we can call this reusable block here. Pass in the input array, pass in the index one. Uh, it's going to be parent index so, or max index, it doesn't matter. So yeah, let's write the reusable block. Passing the input array, passing the index one, passing the index two. Okay, so in here, uh, let's first declare a temp and passing one of the value inside. Change the value in this placeholder with the value inside the other placeholder. Change the value inside the other placeholder. There's a value restore in top. This will do. So after this is done, at position max index, which must be a child index, the uh, structure will be broken. So uh, we must sort the thing from bottom, from top to bottom. So. Passing the array lines, passing the max index this time to sort the the uh, parent node from there. So by the end of this, our array will be sorted into max heap structure. So we can do another for loop and let index to be the last element of the array and uh, have i stop by the second to first element and uh, have i deduct itself by one of time of every time we run this block of code so uh, let's do the swap first so if the array is in max heap structure the parent node would be would be equals to the max value we exchange it with the last and sorted the node that would be i and move forward. Array lines should be deducted by one because uh, we swap the max value to the end. So it should be omitted when we run this function again. So passing the newly generated array lines, passing the uh, not, uh, root node position always. After this is done, let's run, uh, let's return our input array. Yeah, then our heap sort is finished. Okay, let's run our solution by writing a console log over here. Passing the input array. That will be and sort it. As you can see, our array is sorted, and this is going to work on many different type of data, including when there is a negative load and 
value of zero. So let's run this again. As you can see, again, our array is sorted. So let's uh, start to explain the process of heap sort. Okay, so given this analogy here, we visualize the array into a heap structure. And we start with the last parent node that has at least one chart node because um, here is nine, so nine uh, here is a two, and uh, nine is the biggest value from these two, three value. So nine gets pushed, then move on to seven. Seven is already the biggest value inside these two from between these three values. So seven stay put. Then move up. One is the um, the one. So nine is the biggest value from these three values. So nine gets pushed. And uh, so from this position, so uh, position one is uh, and position uh, parent is uh, is swapped. So from here the heap structure is broken. So we do the sort 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 function again. So uh, from these three value, it is the biggest, so A gets pushed. So after this is done, our array is sorted into a max heap structure. So this part is finished. Then we move on to the next part. So another for loop. Um, like I said, the, from the max heap structure, the root node is always the max value in the array. So we push it to the uh, last I saw the note, so now I will get here array last uh, minus minus will omit the uh, element from the sort function. So start from the root node, it get pushed. So this position is uh, used to do the swap. So run the sort function and take in this position as the parent index. So two is bigger than one, so two pushed. Then, um, yeah, the array is sorted and uh, it will then be pushed to this last and sorted node. And the uh, array lines minus minus, so this element will be omitted from the sort function, start from the node uh, position again, seven gets pushed. So this position is used to do the swap. So five will be get pushed. So do this again and again until there's only two elements left to do another sort. Then our array will be sorted at last. So this is how the process works. So let's then find out how come um, how come we can use this algorithm to get the last index left uh, left child index. So. Um, So, um, two things we need to uh, know. So this is a regular pattern, and this is the level number. And the algorithm to get the nodes limit based on the level is mass, uh, mass power, so two to the power of level number minus one. So in here, one, two to the power of one is two, two minus one is one. So only one node is accepted. So in this case, level two, two to the power of two equals to four, four minus one equals to three, so only three elements. So in here, level three, three to the power of two equals to eight, and eight minus one equals to seven, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. So seven node is um, the max node that this level uh, structured uh, heap is uh, going to contain. So after this is uh, generated, we can then move on to uh, having an array of, uh, yeah, get the index here and uh, get the level index as well. So level three, zero, one, two, three. Our index um, of a particular element could be obtained by the nodes limit from the level above and plus the level index. For example, for index for the value nine here, 
So get the node limits for the elements of the level of using the uh, level above. That's uh, two. So two, two, two to the power of two equals to four. Four, not four minus one equals to three. So three plus the level index two equals to five. So five points to the value nine. So for level index, then we can use this same algorithm to get to it. So let's rewrite the index as with parent index. So it's going to be max to the power, uh, so two to the power of parent level above minus one and plus parent level index. So we can replace the parent level above with a variable called L and the parent level index with a value called index. So the index of the child also can use this algorithm to get right so it's going to use child level above and child level index so can we use parent level above which is value l and uh, parent level index to represent child level above and child level index yes of course we could so we can rewrite the child level above is l plus one and child level uh, index with i plus 2. So child index using the same algorithm will be written this way 2 to the power of l plus 1 minus 1 plus i plus 2. So it can then we break so 2 to the power of l plus 1 can break the plus 1 part to times 2 here. So and then we move minus 1 backward and i times 2 uh, before to the to to you know beforehand then we can then two to the you know combine these two so two times two to the power of l plus i and uh, minus one will be equals to the child index then we add a minus one inside the bracket then two times minus one and so we add a plus two here so even out the minus two inside here so in here we already get the same value as the parent index so we replace this part with um, the parent index so the child index is equals to 2 uh, times parent index plus 1 finally Whew. so we can see that using the uh, index of the parent index times 2 so 2 times 2 equals to 4, 4 plus 1 will be equals to the first child uh, of the uh, parent child. So this is how we can use the above function to loop through, loop through the, you know, to get the last parent element that has at least one child node. Yeah. So this is typically how you write a heap sort function in JavaScript. Thank you for watching.